Followed by Faith Ross. Phillips Gallon, welcome back to the Nassau delegation. You're Thank recognized. Anybody know how to put that up? No. Okay, there's got to be you know, somebody that knows, so yeah. we'll investigate that. Thank you for reminding us. Phillips uh, Gallon, he came down <coughs> to Village Court of the Island. And uh, I also want to thank you for your time that you're spending here and what you've spent on this issue for the sake of the citizens. Uh, you know, the previous speaker just said, why are we here? It, exactly why we're here is because you asked us to come back. After the last meeting, you said, would you please work with the board? And the board said, yes, to work with us, me and Frank, because I had worked successfully for nine months on the strategy. We worked together, made some changes. It seemed okay to me. Maybe not everybody in the room. Um, so we went to go do that, and they changed their mind. So we're back here uh, with an input that we don't have over support for, Frank and I, but we have the Fernandina Beach City Commission reviewed this and voted to support the proposal. A very little, tiny proposal. Let the Fernandina Beach City Commission have a say if somebody's going to use eminent domain. And eliminate that waiver 12, which is uh, capability to ignore all laws, which we actually believe is not legal, but it's been a problem because the lawyer argues that he would take the city to court to fight it. So it'd be better to take it out. It's not in any. Did you? Uh, did he just give you these, this matrix handout? Yeah. I just shoot you. Yeah. What I, I gave this last time, actually, but I've updated a little. This matrix shows all 15 ports in Florida in one picture. The first column shows the Fernandina Beach port, and it has 18 powers, and they're all yeses. And then the other. Uh, eight ports that are special ports, they're all no's. They don't have these powers. This tiny little port, you know, including to do casinos, oil refineries, and a whole bunch of other things, including that waiver we're trying to say, take out. It's not in the rest. The other six ports, they're general ports, and they actually have a local city overseeing them. So they don't have a problem. All right? We are way out there. I mean, way out there compared to everybody else. This is so simple, the little thing that Frank and I are saying. We're not saying to actually change any of these powers except let the city have a little say. Now, why are we in a rush for 2016? First of all, we were supposed to do 2016 legislation. You asked us to do it. It will be a shame if the tactic of them saying they won't work with us means nothing gets done. Because that ain't the way things should happen. The second thing is, and it's kind of important, Kinder Morgan does have financial control of this pool. It's not these commissioners' problem. They probably inherit it. The Kinder Morgan writes the letter of this supports the bonds. They give them finances that they need. They own the cranes. They fund the manager. There is no CFO. I mean, they just have financial control. I don't care who is on that commission. They have financial control. So all these powers are actually in the hands of Kinder Morgan right now, in my opinion, the, the way we look at it. Where's Kinder Morgan going? Well, they're putting a pipeline down the East Coast. Right now, they're suing Georgia for eminent domain. Suing the state who said, this isn't a pipeline that's for good of the country, so we're not going to give it to you. Now they've taken them to court. They're coming down through Nassau. We know that. We know that. All I'm saying is, at least let the city have a little say if somebody tries to use eminent domain to put a pipeline in Fernandina. Let the city commissioners, I trust them, and I cannot trust Oprah because they're in financial control of, of Kinder Morgan. Let the city say, well, maybe making Trinity Beach an energy transfer port is a good idea. I don't, doubt, I don't think so because we have a historic resident neighborhood. Jacksonville makes a lot of sense. Long Island doesn't have a tourist industry that's a half a billion, doesn't have a real thing industry, half a billion. We get a billion dollars of other stuff going on that didn't happen in 1941, but it's now. That's why the modernization. Our island is not appropriate, in my opinion. But I'm not asking you to listen to Phil Scanlon. I'm just asking you to let the Fernandina Beach City Committee have a decision. If Kinder Morgan says, you know what, I'm going to put all my, they already asked for 500,000 tons of coal. I mean, you would have to be unreasonable to think that they're not trying to do this. Unreasonable. It would be unreasonable to think that this, they're not trying to do it, and they have control of our port. You have to act now. Otherwise, we're at the mercy of whatever happens. And I don't think anything's going to happen in 2017 from people that wouldn't work with me this year. 
and won't probably appoint any of us on that committee, and I'm going to appoint six people from off the island for beginners, those aren't the people with the issues. And by the way, I'm not trying to stop anything that's going on out in uh, Callahan or any place else. We are just concerned about what is likely to happen here without even the city having a say. Wrong. Please fix it. Bill Scanlon, thank you so much.